Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? It's Manchester United and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It's Manchester United facing Barcelona. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Luke Shaw starts with Aaron Wan-Bissaka in the fullback positions. Marcus Rashford starts with Anthony out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Opportunity to deliver the cross. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. I'm sure, Stuart, the video analysis will have identified Marcus Rashford as one of the main threats they've got to deal with. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the starting role on attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. Joao Felix. And the pass not finding its target. Lewandowski. And now Lewandowski! Terrific save. Another short corner here. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Felix. Very effective pass. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. Bruno Fernandes. United looking to forge ahead. Let's see if the corner helps them. here they've seeded possession Barca advantage Manchester United here's Luke Shaw Rashford potentially freedom for United on the flank oh a smart stop Gundogan and Barca moving the ball with purpose and possibilities inside the box managed to get it out of there Romeo and just narrowly wide in the end and I must say that's very good refereeing 
going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Oh, great play, but no damage done, that's the main thing. Rashford. Oh, fine stop. Joao Cancelo. Intelligent threaded pass here. Lewandowski, good looking cross, and well positioned to clear, just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack, Rashford, must take the lead here, and they scored, first goal in this season's UEFA Champions League final. Let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Joao Felix and United couldn't keep possession De Jong Committed challenge. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. This might be ideal for the counter. minutes left for play and super tackle and they've won possession encouraging stuff from United he's in with a chance Here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0.
Kunde. Here's Rafinha. And danger averted. Well read. It's a clever run here from Rashford. A real opening now. And the ball is loose. In it goes at the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. And now the whistle they all wanted to hear. Manchester United have painted the Champions League red. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement for them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners... Manchester United well this is what they wanted what a moment for these players they've worked so hard to win this trophy they've been fantastic and you can feel the emotion it's natural to reflect on this final but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign memories memories well the celebrations are ongoing I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they save for the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved with these celebrations. They've made so much noise here. These are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. Manchester United are the winners of the UEFA Champions League.